January 24th, Tuesday, 5 a.m. Mountain Time, 2017. The Great Barrier Reef suffered one of the worst bleachings on record in 2016. Turning white, the beautiful colors of probably, what, the eighth wonder of the world is fading fast. In fact, by some accounts, it's dying. And what they're saying, it's due to a one degree Celsius increase in water temperature. And I have to disagree, humbly disagree. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you many examples of alarming bleaching just in my area up here in North America. And I'm sure if you pay attention where you live, you're going to see the same things because I know this is not isolated to just my area. So I'm going to show you many examples that I've been saving since the summer when I was monitoring the UV index and I still do. Um, and I do keep a log of the UV index in my local area. I encourage you to do the same. I also encourage you to stay out of the sun. The sun itself is going through a phase and it is affecting Earth in a very harsh, harsh way. I saw something today that absolutely blew my mind. I've never seen this before in my life. I've been seeing the signs uh, around town, the street signs, um, showing bleaching. I've actually seen some that have melted. Um, I'm going to share them with you right now. I've seen uh, license plates that were burned, some completely bleached. Uh, I saw one that was actually melted. They're desperately trying to, I think this is an attempt to maybe slow down some of these harmful UV rays that are affecting planet Earth. They are affecting the Great Barrier Reef. And in my humble opinion, um, it is the culprit why it's being bleached white. I'm going to show you some examples of this bleaching. It's very intense. I call it the great color thief. It's stealing the color from planet Earth. Um, this was one day back last summer in 2016. The sky was just inundated with uh, geoengineering man-made clouds. This is just some sun rays, strong UVs coming through the atmosphere. Um, I was doing UV readings back all summer long. I was also doing temperature readings this particular day. The picture you're seeing right now is 199.4 degrees ground temperature. Um, it was actually above 200. I have a video to support that. Um, <clears throat> here's some of the extreme UV readings that we were getting. I was getting. This is a 12. and You can see a, an 11 is as high as this goes. So this is one day it was a 12. Another day, this is June 16th, it was a 13. The chart only goes up to 11. So what does that tell you? The UV index is off the charts, literally. Now I'm going to show you some examples of license plates out here in Arizona. This is what they're supposed to look like. Kind of like the Great Barrier Reef, full of color. You got purples and yellows and teal, dark green, um, even some maroon down in here, and white. Check this out. I'm going to show you some license plates from out here in Arizona. Uh, here's one. Can you see that? What you can tell by looking at this is this car is parked outside and it faces either east, south, or west with no shade. And you can see the top part here is kind of undamaged, but everything down in here is a clear indicator that the sun has taken away all of the color. There's no color down there. Gone. Get in a little closer. Completely bleached white. I'm going to show you another one. Uh, this is a truck I saw at the grocery store the other day. This one didn't have anything to block any sunlight over the top like the one I just showed you. You can see this thing here, this feature on the car, provided a little bit of shade so it didn't bleach out the Arizona color. This one had no protection. Completely bleached white no color very very bizarre I'm going to show you another one 
Um, where did it go? Let's see. I think I had three. Is this it right here? No, this is a street sign. This one isn't too dramatic, but you can see this used to be a very dark green sign. The top part of it is starting to get faded white. Oh, here's the other. Uh, no, that's the same one. That's the same car right there. It's a little clearer picture. You can see it's completely bleached white. When you see that, pay attention. Look around. You're going to notice these things in your area. If you're on planet Earth, you're going to see things like this. And it tells you that these cars are parked outside, facing south, west, or east. Um, you won't see them on cars that are parked in a garage or underneath a awning, protected from the sunlight. I'm going to show you something here in a few minutes that absolutely blew my mind. Totally blew my mind. Um, here's another street sign. It's melted. Never seen that in my life. Check it out. The W is dripping. The L's are dripping. That's supposed to say Williams Field Road. Field, the E is dripping. Let's see if I can show you another better picture. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. The letters got so hot, they melted. I actually seen uh, more than one license plate that was had a burnt brown color to it and one was actually melted the the lettering was melted um what do we have here is this a plate yeah here's another plate bleached white but you can see this overhang on the tailgate provided a little bit of shade that protected a little bit of the top of the plate the rest of it all of the color is gone bleached white just like the great barrier reefs right the sun is burning white hot guys and it's putting off extreme uv we proved it all summer long i did many uv videos showing you guys that the truth is being hid from you the the apps and everything that are showing the uv at, at eight even your weather service uh, places are showing the uv at eight seven nine i'm showing you guys readings of 12 and 13. and take a look around you're going to see things that are are, are bleached white in some cases burnt um, it's unbelievable but check this out I was leaving a plaza today and there's a stop sign before you enter the main thoroughfare um, and the stop sign <laughs> I actually had to look twice I was in a state of disbelief so I turned back around and took a picture and here's a video I took of two stop signs and they respect they respectively face south and west so they're in uh, direct sunlight watch i did a small video here to show you that um there look look at that and i'm going to prove to you that these are not painted these are stop signs this is pulling out of a food establishment so you have to stop here because there's traffic here that comes out to the main thoroughfare i was coming from back here to stop at the stop sign before i just bolt out onto this main road you have to stop that's a stop sign, and this is a stop sign. Look at them. Are you serious? Look at that. So this is when I, I went out, I turned around, and I came back in here to get a video of this white stop sign. They're bleached completely white. Took some pictures. There's a picture there. Here it is up close. And I think I got even, yeah, here. You can look and see that the, uh, the bolts that are holding this sign to the post are not bleached nor are they colored with paint they're bleached unbelievable this one's the same way bleached the red is completely gone this building over here had some uh, bleach damage there was a sign up here that they actually took down that's a newer sign but it was bleached white and that face is west I could not believe this right here I actually pulled out, went down this way, turned around, and came back to get this video and these pictures. Absolutely unbelievable. What have I got here? Oh, there's another sign. It's the same, it's the same one. It's up close. But I wanted to show you the, the, uh, the bolts that are holding these signs up. That is not paint. <laughs> Those things are bleached completely white. So pay attention to your area. Look at the signs at intersections that face east, south, and west. Look for car car plates when you get behind them. I think you'll start to see them yourself if you haven't already. Pay attention to stop signs, um, signs in general that faced, uh, face east, south, and west. You're going to see bleaching. Not in every case because some of them have been replaced. 
These have not, but I've never seen any that were completely white. And I've never seen anything um, close to a street sign, or not a street sign, yeah, street sign melting. Those letters melted, guys. So not only are we dealing with extreme UV, that is extreme heat. And I showed you guys extreme heat um, with my laser uh, thermometer. It was, it was 200 degrees. It was actually slightly over 200 degrees. There's another white license plate. Just like the Great Barrier Reef. It's a color thief stealing color from planet Earth. Natural and man-made. Extreme UV in my humble opinion, is the culprit. We proved it all summer long. I did all summer long with multiple UV readings. I was showing you guys the extreme UV readings that we were receiving here on planet Earth, and it's only going to continue. The high temps, high ground temps, that's almost 200 degree town ground temperature. It's unheard of, but that's the way it is. And pay attention. If you have pictures of any of this stuff like I've showed you, pay attention. Take pictures of them. Post them on, online on your social account. If you want to share them with me and I'll share them, that's great too. But you're going to be surprised, I think, when you start to see how there is a color thief on Earth right now. And not only is it taking color from the Great Barrier Reef, it's taking man-made color from signs, buildings, homes, cars, um, you name it, it's on. So, UV index, guys, is off the charts, and I think it's the culprit for the damage of the Great Barrier Reef. It's the UV index, not a one degree Celsius change in the ocean temperature. But that's my humble opinion. This is my proof. Here's two white stop signs. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay alert. If you have any pictures of anything like this you see in your part of the world, please share them with me or post them online where I can go take a look at them. I would love to see them. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.